What up? What's up? Going on, brother? How are you? Oh, what's, what's up, Low Key Bunny? bunny? What's, what's good, cuz? How, How you doing, doing brother? brother? Oh, man, I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing, brother? Congratulations on your deploy. Yeah, it started this a week ago, bro. This is actually fun. It's finally Sunday a bit. Absolutely. How long have you been streaming, man? You've been grinding in the <laughs> trenches. <laughs> I've been grinding, bro. 48 hours, bro. Oh, man. Right there, bro. I sleep right there, bro. Wow. Um, People just look at you sleep while you stream? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, man. <laughs> Tell me about the artwork. Like, it's so bullish. What, what do you what you what do you got going on here? Yeah, I'm an artist. Uh, I'm also a software engineer. Uh, okay. I've been a software engineer for four years. Awesome. Um, That's so dope. You know. And how, yeah. so you, what got you into software development? Uh, I wanted to build a mobile app uh, called Coffee House, which I'm actually still building. It's a gigantic app. Um, I'm a back-end engineer using Python. Wow. Um, and I, I just, I, as, as soon as I started programming, I fucking loved it. I've always been a math guy. Yeah, so I just fucking love diving, man. It's so much fun. Yeah. Oh man, I love. It. You know the thing about it is, you know these pump fund walls and Telegram walls are only so short, and a lot of people need to understand that, like behind the story, with developers, especially that are docs, so that way they can ape. And uh, I do YouTube. I have about thirty four k subs, and then I just grab a bag. I don't ask for no money, man. I just have conversations and. People love the syndication. They love the transparency, and it helps like products get to Ray a lot faster. <laughs> Do you have any plans for Radium specifically? Um, yeah. So I I've already paid Taya Wells, and I have the money for Dex. Once we hit Radium, I'm gonna pay Dex. Um, and yeah, but my, my main thing is Taya Wells on Twitter, bro. I've been on Twitter Spaces for since 2019, bro, for five years. Wow. Um, Twitter Space, yeah, bro. I, I actually wrote an API um, that Twitter Spaces uses when I worked at the government contractor. Really? It's an open source. It's an open source API. You can find it on GitHub. Speaking um, of Twitter Space, were you a part of the whole uh, extravaganza yesterday that happened with Trump and uh, Elon? I'm. <laughs> I may know a little bit about Elon. Yeah, I may know some of his people. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I can tell you. You know why he bought uh, Twitter? No. What happened? To get Trump elected. Really? Yep. I, I've talked to his people at SpaceX. That's really? Yeah. That is it. You know, because it's interesting you say that just due to the fact that the last guy, right, that was the CEO, he really didn't like Trump. You know, it kind of forced him to create his own social media platform. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yep. But I, I really like the type of dedication you got going on, especially having a sleep in the background. That's got to be really like dedicated. Have you had any other products you've done before, or this is your first one? Yeah, dude, this is my twentieth launch. Oh, what? Um, and, and I haven't rugged any of the other launches. There's, I still hold tokens in every single other launch. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm a dev, bro. I love launching motherfucking tokens. I mean, this is this is my full-time job now, bro. Hey, same thing. This is my full-time. I loved interviewing devs and just syndicating the message so that way it's clear. Because honestly, like, I would think I was looking the other day and it said there was 20,000 projects that got launched, but only 250 actually um, migrated to Radium yesterday. And I'm like, damn. Yeah, the numbers are <laughs> horrible. I think they might be getting a little better. I think people are getting more bullish on actually sending tokens off Pump That Fun. Okay. But at the end of the day, launch launch pads like this, whether it's Pump That Fun, Ape That Store, or Push That Fun, um, the Ape That Store is on base, and Push That Fun is on Crow. I've launched on all three launch pads. Wow. I mean, I I have never launched off a launch pad except for on Ape That Store. Uh, CBD on base, Crab Baby Brett on base hit a uh, $180,000 market cap uh, three months ago, bro. Really? Yeah, I started I started the crying meta. Um, I, it, it, I'm it, actually it, like looking at your cat. website as we speak. A phenomenal job, by the way. Oh, I'm a web developer, yeah. No, it's a good job. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And honestly, um, the transparency you're showing on the website, like the graphs. Uh, by the way, what made you choose the AI uh, domain? You know, that's kind of bullish because those are kind of expensive. Well, you, 
Yeah, if you scroll all the way down, um, there's an AI chatbot where you can ask any question about crypto or how to use that and answer it. Yeah, try it out right now. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Oh, that's yeah, a phenomenal. See, you know, these details honestly are small but big because a lot of times people are looking at the surface of just numeric sniper numbers and not looking at the transparency of actual people work and hard ethic, you know? And that's what I, I love to see gems like these. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, I'm a long term guy. So, I'm not thinking, you know, just to launch off pumped up on just the fucking launch off pumped up on the hit radium. I'm thinking, what happens once we hit radium? What happens when everyone jeets once we right. hit radium? What happens in a month from now when the project is 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 simmering out? What 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 new features? What new utility can I launch? And I'm working on a mobile app right now that's gonna that's gonna use Crybaby as it, uh, in, in the app currency, um, where you'll be wow. able to donate to U.S. congressional candidates, political candidates in Crybaby. This um, is phenomenal. Yeah, you'll be able to stake on on AI as well. Um, you'll be able to buy right through it because I'm a dev, bro. I fucking love engineering this shit. So, I see you did some spaces yourself too uh, in July, or no? To CBB Freestyle. Yeah, um, that's my old account. That's just my biggest account. I probably should have used my other one. Here, I'll text you. If you look at the Telegram chat. Okay. This is my active account. All right. Let me open that up yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Copy <laughs> that. That's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, let me tell you, like, what I want to try to also bring in the space. Cause I kind of also a dev as well, but in a different sense. Um, I'm kind of creating a community of basically based snipers, right? And um, I go out, I vet, like I'm doing, I interview different developers. And once I find like projects like these that are like destined to go to the moon, uh, then I basically just buy a bag. And then um, I have a, a sniper community that basically follows my wallet. And then they jump in as well, you know, and uh, they just hold. Or some of them hold, some of them G, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just a good way just to kind of clarify trades before getting into it because honestly, that's a lot of, it's easier just to have this transparency and then be like, all right, cool. Let's just fucking hold this bag, go to sleep and then call it a day. <laughs> yeah. I love you what I you're doing. You. I see your telegram, by the way. I just got onto it. Yeah, I see that. Uh, that's you that just saluted me or is it? Oh, no, that's Kat. I just but, followed yeah, you dude, Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll add you as contact if you type in the chat, but I run the KeyCat Solana raids. So do you have any help with it or just yourself or what's what's the just team? Just me, bro. Just you. I don't like having a team. Yeah, yeah. I don't like having a team. It's good. Um, once it gets bigger, but I honestly don't need a team. I mean, this is my full-time job. I'm full-time crybaby, so. <laughs> That's amazing. That's 100% amazing. Wow. Um. Mm -hmm. So... This project has been out for about what two, three days now, as far as on pump. Um, about four days, I think. Four days. Nice. Um, nineteen five on the seventh. So oh, okay. almost a week, six days, six days. Yeah. Wow, six days. dedication. Yeah. I've been in the last six days, bro, like nonstop. Yeah, I, mean, you I know, keep it on when, I, when I leave the house. Like, you know, I touch so that, funny. Uh, I. I've done about, and I'll send you my link, but I've done about a good 15 to 20 different like interviews. Right. And, um, out of all of them, I think 12 of them went to Ray. So I'm, I'm, I'm a good percentage hitter right now. And I think a lot of times I'll give you an example case. Like there was this one I found the other day. It was like a pizza place, like literally a random little real pizza place in the world in, in, in America. And, uh, and they just fucking decided to make it going, and I, and and they were sitting like like you, like five thousand market cap, and then literally twenty four hours later, after I posted the video, they're sitting on Ray. But they're like, "Good news, I'm on Ray. Bad news, we're back at five thousand. <laughs> yeah, and that's what happens all the time. That's why I'm telling you, I'm thinking of what happened. That's why I love launch pads, right? Right. Because you can really get the genius out if you do it right. 
and 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 I did it. I learned this on Ape. That's because if you look at the base chart on CrybabyBrett.ai, okay, um, I can show, I can give you a little TA right now. Yeah, yeah. We hit a hundred eighty thousand dollar market cap, and now we're sitting at what five thousand dollar market cap. Yeah, right. Right. So I learned from that if we can hit a hundred eighty thousand dollar market cap and be like smoking chicken fish and just keep sending. But how do you do that? Great narrative, great team, and great community. Right. And you have to build all you can't just launch a coin and expect to have all three of those things all set. Because 100%. the team's gonna make mistakes, the community's gonna jeet, yep. and and the narrative is building. It's it's a building narrative. So if you can build that narrative, if you can build the team, and if you can build the community on Pump That Fun in an echo chamber, right? In, Absolutely. in kind of a chamber, right? And then and then once you hit radium, it's all set and ready. And that way when people look at it, everything's perfect. Everything's set. Hundred percent. Because what if people don't believe everyone's like, oh, the world can't be perfect. The world can be perfect, but binary ones and zeros can always be perfect. Yep. That's what a computer is. It's a work of fucking perfection. There's nothing wrong. Let's say here, I'll show you my PC. There's nothing wrong with this fucking thing. Wow. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. That fucking thing, that is a work of fucking art, dude. Yes, sir. A fucking Chinese fucking art. So <laughs> absolutely, hundred percent. This is my brother, Jake. Wave hi to I'm doing an interview, Jake. Say hi. Hey, Jake. <laughs> yeah, and that's amazing, man. And honestly, it's like this type of transparency. And you're you're 100 right about the narrative because I, I actually was in smoking chicken fish uh, when it first came out, and I noticed. And when I say first come out, I mean like I mean I was in the pump fun trenches, you know. And uh, yeah. I noticed from the jump because i i had i was talking to the dev like you know on the download i know the dev too yeah 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 and he was like he was telling me he was like yeah he he did multiple projects you know before he got mm -hmm. to that and uh you know he just started sticking with like that strong role play pseudo uh religion type narrative and uh it was like you know you just go on stage every night you know and it just yeah. works people just started to take it and run with it and honestly yeah. I think that is what th this space nowadays is kind of needed just due to the fact AI technology has made it a sense a um, lackluster thing, so to speak, when it comes to like artwork. So back in 2019, it was easy to gravitate an audience of diamond hand holders with a specific art piece. But now it's so easy to come by yep. that you need more to the table. You know what I mean? 1000% and the world's always changing right so like in 2019 it was all about nfts yes, and, and, and real real art but but nowadays uh, dude my pfp for this this is straight ai art I and mean, i'm sure you can tell i mean that's ai art right there bro i mean i've, I've been an ai artist since 2021 <clears throat> i mean i dude, this shit's too easy for me I'll, can i share my screen oh, i'll share my screen real quick here, I did, this is what I do. I can go here. here let me let me take your bunny, right? I'm gonna mm -hmm. click on you, open profile, take your bunny, save image as bunny, save, go to my other Google account, go to chat TBT, new one, make this into a cry let him baby. Cook. Let him cook. <laughs> let me cook, bro. Look at this, look at this. Now I'm gonna go to Crybaby Soldier. Right. Okay. Um, baby soldier. And I'm gonna make your bunny a cry baby in fucking five seconds, bro. Wow. Now it's loading. I love this. Let's another PC. And in there it is. You got a cry baby bunny. Wow. Let this is. Are oh, you putting the VC? It's, it's, uh, I'll, yeah, I, I, or I can do. Um, absolutely video. amazing wait what happened to it you know and also just to let you know too and i think something that you'll you'll eventually even find out anyways what i've started because i really love this space like i said just like yourself uh, i take it 24 7 full time you know um mm -hmm. and what i've done is i've created like essentially like a 24 7 shilling like almost show that uh, is syndicated on uh, my YouTube and syndicated on my ex. And basically it's like a, it's like ESPN meets DeFi, you know? And uh, you know, every single show is about 15 to 20 minutes. And it's just me having conversations like I am now, 
like literally with you know base people face to face and uh I, i'm gonna send you the link you're, you'll see this and you're, and, and when we're done I'll, I'll upload this within the hour so that way it's out there but i'll continue playing this for you so that way it's just live and it just rotates every four hours our our our, our, our shindig you know for sure man that'd be sick i gotta do a web p here i'll start sharing my screen i'll send you the the, the, the image in a sec but People are bullish on you, man, for uh, for uh, what you're doing, bro. I, I I've always thought of doing YouTube, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, to get thirty seven thousand subscribers is is way different than getting thirty seven thousand followers on Instagram, right? Sure, um, sure, absolutely. So, I'm gonna send you my channel now, actually, via DM. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I've ate too much. There you go. I just sent it. Yeah, well, you can kind of see the format essentially of like uh you know what i'm doing but you know it's it's pretty organic like i uh i don't really plan anything i think that's what people love it's just like it's not like i know this person and we set this interview up it's just like you know we we're randomly streaming i'm randomly got equipment let's like put together something to get in so that the people can see what they want to invest in because honestly people take the a term dyor really loose especially if you're in DeFi, you know and it's like you kind of have to do your own research in a sense through YouTube. It's like that remote for people. And so if they don't see it, they just don't like care to do even further digging. Yeah, no, it's hundred percent true. And I've been, I was a social media strategist for uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You know that? Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, I definitely know my shit on social media, but I, I mean, I could have became like an influencer, but uh, it's, I'd rather be a dev. No, I feel <laughs> I'd, rather you, be, I'd rather be behind the scenes, you know. I mean, because I can dance, but I can do a little. Yeah, hey, vice versa, yeah, man. man. We can go on TikTok here and there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. The one thing about dev for me specifically when it comes to coins is the uh, whole thing of just sitting and waiting and having that conversation whenever you sporadically, you know, have it with people coming into the, you know, chats. So what I've tried to do is set up, well, because for me personally, and I don't want to shill too much in your in your stuff, but no, me personally, I want to be able to just do it autonomously. So I pretty much got this uh, third-party program, Restream, and it's a, like a software that yeah, you can use. You know, okay, cool, yeah. cool. So yeah, I use that to syndicate through the VC streams, and then that way when they come in, they can just get the information they need and then you know go there's no need for like moderating in the vc it's just a constant like sum of information <clears throat> right but, um you know it's just setting a new path basically just because at the end of the day everyone is wanting to consume content mm -hmm. we're uh 25 or 4 percent of the way to king of the hill um honestly we're not that far away uh and uh the afternoon is the time to work so i don't know if you like I, like pump that fun is at the end of the day sent by americans i believe like americans are worth oh, yeah. friends they have the liquidity they have Absolutely. the liquidity so so if you can grind and buy when when people are like from 8 p.m to motherfucking 5 a.m it's an absolute shit show right i mean it, it, but but from 5 a.m to fucking 8 p.m bro like that's the time to get your head down because that's when there's less bias. Oh yeah. And if you can if you can kind of creep up the king of the hill and then at eight PM people see you almost there, fifty percent, seventy percent of the way to King of the Hill, it just fucking sense. And and I've seen it time after time again. So I I think that's what we'll see with Cry Baby. Absolutely. Hundred percent. And you know, honestly, uh, I mean I think one of the things why people like these type of conversations is because without a doubt without you even saying anything really you kind of dropped a lot of gems right there and it, people are gonna have to rewind that because honestly you can't just find that on google because that is fact eight like those peak hours uh especially when it comes to like est pst you know time zone cst like you can definitely see how it really molds the whole entire ecosystem you know i 100 yeah. percent agree with that yeah, and look, the America went over the meta. I mean, we're a failing empire, but, uh, and I'm moving <laughs> for sure once it fails. 
I'm going to Canada, bro. But it, it, even Canada's gonna fail. But I like Canada. <laughs> but that's the that's behind the sides. I'm I'm from Wisconsin. Fully okay. Docks. I live in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Nice. Central I'm in Wisconsin. Vegas. Nah. I, oh, you know Trendsetter? Yeah, I'm in Vegas myself. No, but do you know who Trendsetter is from oh. Empire Records? Oh, uh, you know, it sounds familiar. I never really get out. It's too hot out here, brother. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. But he's a rapper, like, with YG, Trippy Red. Oh, know, okay. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm his manager. Wow. That's dope, brother. You know, you should hit me up. Let me on the low. I do videos, like, actually music videos. So, you know, we can uh, talk on, on, the, on the other uh, half, so. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I'm always down for that. But I love these trespass conversations. I'm gonna post this uh, right now to my YouTube brother. I'll send you a DM in the chat so that way you guys can rate it and all that stuff. And of course, if you want, I also put it on the, the TV show that's syndicating live even as we speak right now. I think there's like 200 people watching. Oh, there's 200 people watching right now. Yeah, if you go to look, if you go to YouTube, uh, either uh, X, go to my verified X, and uh, yeah, yeah. you can go to x.com backslash uh, low key bunny l-o-k-e-y b-u-n-n-y and uh yeah i'm live right now via restream um and we just syndicated about four and a half of hours of content from docs developers of last week and all these projects have made it to radium and they're still alive so it's like a constant shill station in a sense and you'll be a part of that because i know for a fact you're gonna be in ray especially if i drop this video (laughs) just (laughs) <laughs> dude yeah they appreciate you this was a legit combo bro i just gave you a follow thank you bro. um yeah and uh i see you now bro i see you you're watching uh or no this is an old one Wait. yeah this is a, no, uh yeah i'm we're, I'm, I'm interviewing you live what i do is i i don't like to particularly like live 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 stream unless it's like yesterday where i was live streaming with pump i mean i'm sorry uh what's it called uh fucking elon and trump where it's like it needed information that needs to happen but i'll use uh like it almost like an actual tv station where it's restream re- is reruns but these reruns were valuable it, because they're like in trenches still they're like 100k mark cap radium projects now instead of pump from projects you know yeah bro i appreciate you tapping in dude i see you got a nice setup you got a great uh live stream there um thank you yeah no problem man absolutely i just want to uh try to build and uh you know be one of these founding fathers of this d5 foundation like i said i take a 24 hour full time too so anyway i can help out and grab a bag it'd be perfect especially when uh the community gets involved it's gonna be crazy absolutely yeah dude absolutely man so God bless you, brother, and I'm going to see you on the other side. <laughs> All right, bro. Peace out. Appreciate the time. God bless you.